Mammal species like mink uh, are very uh, good hosts in a sense and the virus can, can evolve within those species, especially if they're large numbers packed closely together. So in that sense we have to look at that viral evolution, we have to create the biosecurity around farms like that so that there's not that contact back with human populations. Each one of these changes, each one of these mutations, whether they're identified in, in mink or they're identified in humans, need to be evaluated because we need to determine the importance of each of these and if any of these changes means that the virus behaves differently. In this uh, situation there's a suggestion um, that some of these mutations may have some implications, but we need to do the proper studies to evaluate this. And that is ongoing right now with colleagues at, the, at SSI in Denmark, as well as our international working group. The Danish authorities are, are looking at all of that evidence. They're, they're making decisions in real time. They're taking uh, strong action. Uh, and we will continue to work with the scientific community to understand the implications of, of the findings. But uh, in the meantime, the Danish authorities have to base their actions on their, the extent of the virus within that mink population, the bio-risk management available around that population, and concerns around any health impact in humans. And as we've said, we've already seen a number of cases on, on the human side of the equation.